is sujood tilawa this is the arabic word for prostration of recitation there are a number of places in the quran 14 or 15 and in these verses once we read it it is highly recommended for us to perform sujood prostration so how many and how to perform it well the most authentic opinion without going into details that it is one prostration and you say Allahu Akbar and you go down whether you're sitting standing whatever you don't have to stand up if you're sitting or sit up if you're lying down no from what position you are well actually if you're lying down you have to sit so that you can prostrate so you say Allahu Akbar and you prostrate and you say Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la three times or whatever dua afterwards you would like to make without any problem. After you finish, you raise your head without takbir and you do not offer salam. So it's only one takbir when you go to prostrate. Now, as I said to Brother Tawfiq, I'll be generous today. So I will tell you that you don't have to be in the state of wudu. You don't have to face the qibla, but if you do, that's good. You don't have to be covering your aura even. Whoa, 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 what is this, Sheikh? What are you getting this? Akhi, covering the aura, facing the qibla, being in the state of purity, tahara, these are conditions for what? For salat, for prayer. Define prayer for me, please. It is inaugurated by takbiratul ihram, concluded by salam, with specific actions and words to be said in a particular way with the intention of worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal. Good, mashallah, 100% correct. Sujood al tilawa is it like any of this? No. So this is not part of the prayer. You can do it after Fajr. You can do it after Asr at the time of prohibition without any problem because it is not prayer. This is why Yes, it's highly recommended to be in the state of wudu, to face the qibla, to be covering your aura, but if you don't, none of this is mandatory and your sujda is totally valid.